started to use this as a cleanup device for all of our other operations. We've used this up on the Yuba River to clean up dredge concentrates. Uh, we can clean up two six inch dredges in an evening. Um, running the fines through here works really nicely. Um, we use it out in the desert to clean up after our um, dry washer runs. When we use it in areas where we're only dealing with real fine gold um, gnome, we, can, we classify down to about a, an eight, number eight screen. When we use it out in the desert, we're using a number four screen because there's just not as much super fine gold out there and the, the machine will catch what there is. Um, I have, lately we've been seeing it being used as a redundant recovery device for people who are running hard rock. So they'll use it as the last thing to test their tailings, make sure that everything is being caught by their tables. And now I think I'm ready to go ahead and get it set up. The first thing I do is run a little bit of water on it, back to the toothbrush, a little bit of whatever your wetting agent is, and um, splash some water up on it. The toothbrush is used just to rub over the mat before you fire it up. It keeps the, the uh, air bubbles from sticking. And any place there's an air bubble left on the mat, left on the mat, no gold will stick. So, we'll fire the thing up. And I don't, I, I'm betting this won't show on the camera, but I'm looking down at it here, and we've got just a few air bubbles here and there. And I'll just take this toothbrush and just make sure there's no air sticking to the mat. Once you've got it running, you're going to want to see the water's flowing much faster than on most of the recovery or small sluices. That is part of the design. You want the water running quickly. It is what helps to develop the low pressure zone underneath the Hungarian ripple that catches that super fine gold. And we'll take a look at a close up of the mat in a little bit and show you how it actually recovers the gold. And this is the way it should be running. And then the next step is just adding material. Okay, we're, we're back with a couple of more things on adjustments before we actually run material. The clamp up at the top is real simple. The mat just sticks right underneath it. Sort of take it at an angle and just press it underneath that rib. When you get it underneath, you want it to be sticking over the end about a quarter of an inch. That way you'll have no accumulation underneath here, which becomes, can become a problem. So that's how the mat sets it. The header box. The header box is adjustable. When it gets to you, it'll be a little bit high. If there's leaks around the edge, you just take it with your thumbs and just press it down a little bit till those leaks go away. If it somehow gets smashed down at some point in its life, it will in my garage, I tell you that for sure. You just take a large screwdriver, put it underneath, and just pry it up just a little. 